Hello guys, Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another Unity Antimatter Dimensions video. This is episode 10 it. <laughs> Hello guys, Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another Unity Antimatter Dimensions video. This is episode 10 and today we're going to be doing infinity upgrades. Woohoo! We're at that 10 milestone. We're finally getting somewhere. So, um, yeah, we're pretty much just going to be doing the first uh, 17 upgrades here. Uh... Yeah, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to actually just copy... Actually, whoa. <laughs> I could just copy and paste all of these. Maybe. Uh, I, I guess that works. Now nah, that looked really weird. Increase the multiplier. Normal. Yeah, I guess this worked for the most part. <laughs> so I'm going... On the side, I'm going to copy all of these down and... Uh, yeah. So I will, yeah, so I'm going to copy all of those, actually. Okay, I'm trying to process what we're going to do, how we're going to do this. So I think this infinity, oh yeah, this infinity upgrade is a prefab, if you guys remember from last episode. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is just copy and paste it 16 times. I'm going to, like, do the interface and all that on the side. And then we're going to um, put all these inside uh, the script in a string list. Okay, so I'm going to set up the user interface. I will be right back. Okay, so I have uh, grabbed or I have made all the upgrades. Obviously, they have the same text. We will get to that later on. Um, we have upgrades 1 through 16 and we have our infinite upgrade. Okay, so let's get started on a new script here. So let's see. We have infinity manager, right? Uh, we have infinity upgrade, which we can move this to the scripts folder. So keep ourselves organized and let's create a new script called infinity upgrades. And this is where we're going to once you need loads once. Um, oh yeah. So this will be for um, neatly managing all the upgrades. And of course we're going to store everything inside the data, uh, the data class, but this will just kind of help us out here. And I just don't want to throw it in Infinity Manager because there's a lot of stuff in, in Infinity. And it's only going to get bigger, especially when it gets to Eternity, if we even get there. Um, but yeah, so we kind of just want to keep stuff organized. So again, we're going to call the script uh, Infinity Upgrade Manager. Okay. Okay, we're going to load it right up. Okay, so in here... We're going to delete all the default stuff to add it back in later. <laughs> That's just what I tend to do. Um, but uh, all, all, all jokes aside, we need to add a few things. So we're, we know we're going to be using, uh, I think we're going to be using TM Pro, I think. Because I know we're, we have like our, we have our infinity manage, or infinity upgrade prefab. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create, a, um, we're going to create an array of infinity upgrades, okay? And we know the size is 16, so we're just going to call this infinity upgrades, and we're going to initialize it with the size 16 um, infinity upgrade array, just like that, okay? Okay, so now in here, we want to create a new string, and this is going to be called infinity uh, upgrade names, or just infinity names, honestly. Okay, and actually, we're going to make this a list. Actually, eh, yeah, a list will be fine. No, 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 let's do Let's just do an array, okay? I tend to change this up. I'm not, like, very consistent on what this is, okay? And then now we're going to create a separate method, or we're going to start our start method here, and we're going to initialize this string array with all of our upgrade names, okay? So I will be right back. I will do this on the side. Alrighty, so I um I copy and pasted all of these in here, and it honestly might have taken you a really long time if you did this as well. So I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks real quick. So what I did here is I simply just dragged all of these over, and you can see that when you start to select things, it still goes in a row, just like selecting individual lines himself. It goes from top to down or up down. So just like this one right here. So you see how it um goes from left to right top to bottom it's the exact same way with the upgrades right so we start from upgrade one all the way to 16 right here okay so you just copy all of these paste them in a notepad and just kind of um space them out like this obviously they're gonna be a little messy when you copy and paste them so that's why you want to divide them um correctly before you want to do this and then once you have formatted it correctly just copy all of this and paste it into here and then just you know 
Uh, I like to put the parentheses, or here, I'll kind of show you what I did here. I'll go back quickly. See, I kind of had them like this, right? And then I looked for the ones that had the currently, and I just copied and pasted it, um, slash new line currently space, and then the parentheses right here for all of those that had currently. And then another one with like uh, this right here. I just pasted this one at the end with the new line before that. And then I start deleting all the useless cost and all that stuff because we can do that ourselves. All of them have a cost, so we, we don't have to display that in here. And then we, I put uh, parentheses all at the beginning of them and then the comma. And yeah, I went by a lot faster rather than just typing them out individually. Again, that's up to you if you want to do it this way, but that's just a little hack, a uh, speed hack. Um, okay. All right. So well, now what we need to do is we have the names, but we also need the cost too. Okay. So they're all listed here. That should be pretty easy. So I'm going to also copy and paste those over. Now, uh, before I do that, I actually want to create the a public a public big double infinity cost array. Infinity costs. Uh, I think I got like infinity upgrade costs right here. And this is also a size 16. But we don't need to implement that here. We can do that as well right here. So I will be right back. Okay, so I have copied and pasted all these costs over. And I, again, I just looked at... Um, I just went from left to right, top to bottom, like that. And also, you may have noticed I haven't included this upgrade yet just because I really don't need to. I don't, I don't really, I want to keep this separate because it's not really part of the system that we're going for here. You'll see why later. It'll be just kind of easier to separate it. And let's create also, actually, we don't need to do that. Let's see. Um, you know what? We may, we might as well just expand this to 17 and add this extra one in here. And what does this say? Uh, multiply all. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just add this, because why not? I think we should. I kind of had to think about it. So multiply infinity points from all sources. This is by two. And, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Currently, it's a lowercase. Come on, heavy. Capitalization, man. Or consistently, at least. Okay, consistency That's what I meant to say. All right, so now we have this one, and the cost for this one we're not going to include for this one. All right, and for cosmetic effects, let's. Um, you remember last episode when I, when I added all of the colors, right? Well, the thing is that, I I don't think we need the red and purple. I mean, we that's honestly not that important. So what I'm gonna do is leave those out and only have the three colors that we have, which is white, dark gray, and green, okay? So there's three states where where we display colors. First of all, it's white, which means we can buy it, so it's unlocked. Gray is where it's unlocked, where it's pretty much locked, we can't buy it, okay? And green is where we purchased it, okay? So we need to make sure to implement that. And also another thing we need to implement is that upgrades work in a kind of a weird way, right? So you start here and you go this way, right? And then if you start here, you go that way, and then you go down this way, right? So if you go this way, you can go left or you can go right on all of them. And if you start with the top row, you can go down, okay? So it kind of works in like a, you can't just buy this one, all right? It kind of works in a certain direction where you gotta follow. Uh, so we gotta be we gotta be sure to do that, okay? Um, let's start with adding our variables in here and we're going to eventually move this to our data class. All right. So this is as well, a big double. Uh, no, this is a bool actually. And now instead of this being a size 17, this is going to be a size 16, just like the cost because this is infinite right here. Okay. So we're going to call this one infinity upgrade levels or unlocked, I guess we can say, or upgrade bot. Let's just, that that's a better name, I think. Okay. And this will be a new bool 16. And again, we're gonna have to rearrange this in here. Let's see, actually, let's take a look in here. Well, since we have this create list here, let's, act, let's create a, um, a bool list instead. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to implement, uh, yeah, let's see, what did we add here? 
<laughs> What's going on? I don't know what just happened. <laughs> that was really weird. I don't like this. Okay, but it's not. It doesn't seem to want to add by itself. But at the top, we add system dot collections dot generic. Okay, and we should be able to use lists. Oh, <laughs> that's why we're getting an error here. Okay, so now we can use list here, and we're gonna create a new boolean list. The capacity of sixteen. Again, this will all change once we move this over to the data, but just for now, we're gonna leave it as is. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is get ready with displaying the the buttons and all that. Okay, so let's uh, let's create a public void update, and before we do this, we need to create um, for optimization purposes. We obviously need to only update our UI once uh, when we are looking at it, and we also need to create uh, a canvas to for this purpose and to be able to go to it for navigation. Okay, so let's see, where do we do this? We do this in the game controller. So we are so far we have dimensions, achievements, and yeah, that's it. Also, I think we have an infinity canvas somewhere. I th I think. Where is this? Uh okay, so I guess we haven't done like we haven't done that yet. <laughs> okay. But anyways, we're going to create a we're gonna create two canvases actually. We're gonna call this one uh, the first one infinity canvas. And we're also going to create a, a sub canvas, which is the infinity uh, upgrades canvas. Now, this won't be added onto our current navigation system because it will disable everything else and we don't want that to happen. So let's start with infinity. So we're going to add this to our uh, canvases to disable right here at the top, which we're going to have infinity right here. And then this one right here in the switch, we're going to add our infinity right here and then we're going to label this one as infinity okay so if the location is infinity then we're going to toggle on the infinity canvas now let's create um, a new method called infinity navigate okay so we're just going to do everything related to navigation in here since we're already doing it and we ca I can just have it all in one spot rather than putting this in the infinity manager and we're also going to do the same location thing okay so we can just pretty much add our infinity upgrades canvas in here set it to false and we only have one thing to switch between these so it's really gonna be kind of pointless or we need to set this up for later so we're just gonna do this now and for our first case we're gonna call this infinity upgrades okay colon and we're just gonna set this to true and don't forget the break like that all right, so we have it navigates and infinity navigates. So now what we can use this for is in our infinity manager or infinity uh, upgrade manager. Uh, okay, so at the top we're gonna add our game controller. We're gonna label it as game, and in here we're gonna put make an if statement called. Uh, we'll probably make a variable called data because I have a feeling that we're gonna use this eventually. Um, but if Game dot infinity upgrades canvas dot game object dot active self. Okay, so if it's true, then we're going to start with this UI, and we are going to be messing the with the UI uh, via for loop. Okay, so we're going to do quite some stuff in here. So we're going to create a for loop var i equals zero. So we're going to start at zero, and as long as i is less than sixteen, oh no, seventeen, and we'll just keep adding and keep going. Alrighty, so now in this for loop, we're going to do infinity upgrade at index i, and we have a description, which we added last time, and an image. So let's just start with the description, and we're going to set the description to the infinity names. Okay, so at the infinity names at index i. Now, you notice that we didn't add any of the cost in here, okay? But some of these do have uh, the current lease, so we're going to have to kind of uh, experiment with this. Let's see what why is it like that? That's cool. Um, so I feel like we need to make a, a switch case here because we only need to add the currently boost right here to certain things. And honestly, now that I kind of think about it, we might have not needed to add this, but it's okay. This will work either way. So the switch is going to be uh, I, and we're going to do case zero. So that's this one right here. Zero, one, two, 
four, five. So three, four, five. Let me just add a break temporarily. So let's see, we skip one. So we have one, yeah, we do two, four, five. Two, four, five. And right now I'm choosing these numbers based on the index of this currently, right? So we have zero, one, two, three, four, five, and so on. We also have six, eight, nine. Six, eight, nine. All right, so six, eight, nine. I think this is nine right here. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is 14, 15, 16. Okay, yeah, 14, 16. That sounds correct. 14, 16, okay. So now in here, oh yeah, we can also add a default in here. So if it's not any of these, then we can uh, do the ones without the currently in here. Okay, so we're gonna set the description equal to uh, infinity names. Let's actually do this in uh, via string in interpolation, so we can put our variables inside. Uh, alrighty, so our variable will be infinity names at index i. Oh yeah, the description is a text, so don't forget that. You have to add the dot text attribute at the end of that. And infinity names at index i. Okay, so now we need to add our cost. Uh, we don't have the cost yet, so we're just going to leave that as is. Actually, no, we do have the cost. But duh, big brain. Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's correct. We're just going to have to figure out, yeah, 16 is different. Remember, we have our, because uh, our cost is basically an equation. And I think it just grows by 10 each time. Let me let me take a look actually. Console game dot infinity points. Oh, I think it's player. Player dot infinity points. Yep. Is equal to a new decimal. Okay, cool. So let's see what this is going on. Yeah, so you see how this works? Uh, oh, okay, so it actually goes by rows. So now I know that you buy, you buy these and it goes down. Cool. So this multiplies by 10. I see now. Okay. Alrighty, so we will have to make an equation for that. Alright, so now for the rest of these, I'm just going to copy and paste this. Um, oh, yeah, forgot. We have the currently here. So I will copy and paste these and show you what we do next. Actually, now that I think about it, I think an easier way of doing this is making a method because we're going to be doing lots of copying and pasting here. Uh, so let me create, let me create a, a public, yeah, let me create a public void here, actually. No, we can't, it can't be public, it's just void. Okay, so here this will be uh, set currently text with an int id. And in here, we just set, we'll replace with i replace i with id i with id same thing here now instead of adding the cost right after we have to display this currently value here okay so i'm just going to leave an empty um an empty curly brace right here and also i added space at the end of every currently right here so that's up to you if you want to keep that or not if you don't then make sure you add a space right here so Completely up to you, but I didn't, so the boost will be right next to the variable here. And so we can ignore that. I'm trying to think how... This is really weird, <laughs> now that I think about it. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm adding an int uh, array right here called currently swap. I don't really have a good name for this, but what it's going to do is we're going to take in the variable... Uh, we're going to take an ID, and we're going to locate where it is in this array. And we're going to uh, output the index, okay? And we'll use this as a way to create a um, an easier way to access this currently boost. Because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be based on a... Here, let's actually show you real quick. So we're going to create a big double uh, currently uh, infinity upgrade currently. Or yeah, we'll just call this boost actually. Uh, boost currently yeah so in here will be an int ID right so we're gonna be 
basically searching. Um, actually, that's a silly idea. I just realized it's not gonna matter because we're gonna have to access this level in the first place, or that at least at least this bull right here. Okay, so scratch what I was saying there, but we're still gonna have to access this right here. So for now, I'm just gonna return zero because we don't know what these boosts are. We will get to that eventually. And in here, in their currently boost right here, we're going to copy and paste the method name for our infinity upgrade boost currently. And we're gonna put in the argument ID, okay? And again, we'll manage all this after in a little bit. So now back to the texting here, we're basically just gonna call set currently text and just put in I, okay? And now the cool thing about reducing this is that we can just bring this to the bottom right here, replace all the, all these breaks right here, and make this a little shorter, okay? So now basically, any of these above will do exactly what K16 is doing, okay? If it's one, then it's still gonna be default. If it's zero, then it's gonna do exactly what K16 is doing, which is a little efficient, um, not really efficient, I guess, but cleaner because we don't have to copy and paste this all these times, okay? And it doesn't just look like a block. Okay, so I think we have our UI almost done. We still have to do the image though. So let's do that. Um, so I think we should do this in our infinity upgrade. Let me take a look. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is create another list, just basically copy and paste this. And we're gonna call this infinity, oh no, I have an idea, better idea. Instead of creating a new list, we can just create another method. So let's create a bool method called infinity yeah, infinity upgrade unlocked, okay? So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna check to see if it's unlocked. And again, we need to check to see if, so if this one right here, we need, if this is unlocked, only if this one is, right? And this is only if this one is, and so on, okay? So we're gonna have to basically just calculate each specific one, okay? So I'm gonna open up paint real quick and show you how this works. So we have a four by four plane. So I'm just gonna create little circles here. Here, let's actually get a little better here. Um, so I'm only gonna show you uh, a four by three. And I'm going to label all of these as well. Okay, so I have labeled these from zero to 11 because again, we are accessing from a list which starts at zero. So it's a uh, zero index. Um, so basically what we check to see, it, it goes like this, right? See, it goes in a down, uh, it goes down, right? But we also have to, it goes um, from left to right at the very top as well, okay? So basically what we do here, um, let's take three for example right here. Let's just take this one for example. So three has to check to see if two is unlocked, okay? And two has to check if one is and zero, and it just goes back, right? Let's choose four now, okay? So four is unlocked when zero is, right? So that's pretty easy. And eight is unlocked when four is. Let's choose a little more complicated one. Let's choose six right here. So six is unlocked if two is unlocked, okay? But we gotta see if two is unlocked if one is unlocked, okay? So it goes in this momentum here. So we gotta kinda replicate that. So instead of just checking each individual ID, we can just do some math, okay? So we can just do this but with a bunch of if statements, okay? And I'm sure there's a l maybe a better way of doing this, but I'd rather have a few if statements rather than 16 uh, switch case statements. So I'm going to construct this if statement system real quick. Okay, so I've started a little bit, but I wanna show you something called recursive, uh, recursion, okay? It, recursion tends to be evil, right? But it can be used in a good way. Okay, just like what we're doing right here. So basically how this works is that we are calling methods, it's, we're calling its own method inside, uh, inside like this, right? So if ID is less than four, we're basically just going to check the previous ID. So we're basically just gonna run this all over again and except with a different ID, right? A different number and just keep running through it till we have a result, okay? And at some point we will have a result and now the issue, now the thing is where it becomes evil is if it keeps going forever and ever and ever, it's gonna create a, uh, some stack overflow error, okay? And basically it just keeps going, it keeps uh, calling itself recursively, infinitely, and it creates an infinite bug and, or an infinity, no, what was like, what was like, oh man. It's a bug where it just basically freezes. I 
it's on the tip of my tongue. I literally just lost the name. But basically, it just keeps going forever and ever, and it just uh, completely goes to poop. Okay? So we fix that by eventually having a, uh, a statement where it returns true. And of course, that's zero. Zero is always true. Okay? So this one's always unlocked. All right? So we have the first row. But what about four, five, six, and seven? Okay, so this one's a little different. So let's see four. So basically, well, we know four minus four is zero, right? So we can just do if um, id is equal to four minus four, or no, if it, id is equal to four, then we are going to check to see if four minus four, the id minus four, which is zero right here, is unlocked. And of course, that's true. So what about five now? Again, it's the same thing. Five minus four is one. Six minus two is four or five minus four is one six minus four is two seven minus four is three again it's the same thing for eight nine ten eleven okay so this is pretty simple we're just going to create another if statement actually we don't even need an if statement here because we're still returning stuff true or uh, oh, sorry i cannot talk today well we're still returning stuff here as well so what we're going to do here is we're going to basically just um return infinity upgrade unlocked id minus four okay pretty self-explanatory now why do we do this at the end well we're not checking to see if we're not doing anything like this right we're not doing any of this like wizard magic here okay we're not doing any of this right here <laughs> this would be pretty um weird if we were to check to see if 10 and 7 is unlocked right we don't do any of this weird stuff okay so we can just simply just ignore that and we could just keep going down and it's the same thing for um, 12, 13, 14, and 15, the, the last four upgrades here, okay? So what we can also do is save us a bit of work, or the computer some work. So let's say this upgrade is bot, right? So this is just, actually, let's change the brush. So let's say this one is just bot, right? This one's automatically active, okay? So we only need, we don't need to just continue and check all the way to the end, right? Because that's pretty much what it's doing. So basically, once we get to 11 and we check to see if it's unlocked, it's going to go all the way from 11 to 7 to 3, 2, 1, and 0. All the way back to 0. Okay? That's a lot of work for the computer. So instead, we can just see if, the, we can just see if, um, if this one's bought, right? <sighs> I, think I'm, I, I think I have an issue here. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. I see the issue here. Without even testing, we already see an issue here. It's checking to see if the previous one is unlocked. And you can only imagine what's going to happen if we keep checking this. This one's unlocked. Okay? Is this one unlocked? Yeah. So then we're just going to make ourselves unlocked. 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 It's just going to make all of them unlocked. Okay? So we need to actually check to see if the previous one is bought. So this will also save us some work. Okay? So let me uh, fix this up real quick. So simply I just replaced the recursive method with the... Uh, infinity upgrade bot list okay so now this is just automatically going to save us lots of room or lots of uh usage and we don't even have to do any uh risky recursive calls right here so basically we just simply check to see if this one's bot okay uh i think that's it maybe i, I this might not work but we'll see we'll see once we get there okay so now we have the upgrade system unlocked and the bot system working we can now finally uh determine the color of this right so let's just create a uh actually we don't need to create void we'll just do the set currently text here so we're going to do set currently we're just going to replace it with that because we're also going to do the buttons here too so now for infinity upgrade at index i dot image because that's the name of our image we're going to set the color to several things okay so let's create um, some variables here. Public color gray. Okay, so we have a gray color here. We also have a, uh, let's see, we also have a green and a public void of white. That's pretty obvious, we don't need that. We just need the green and the gray. So remember those five things I saved earlier? That's what I'm using them for. Okay, so these right here. And I'm not going to use the purple and red because I really don't know what they mean. Clearly, they it, like the red one would be kind of obvious. Uh, it means you can't afford it, but I guess that's just not the case. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this green right here and just copy and paste all the... Oops. 
I'm just going to copy and paste all the individual variables. So I'll be right back in that. Yeah, I'll be right back and do this myself. Okay, so here are the color um, variables right here. Okay, so you can pause the video, copy and paste those if you like, unless you got a different color preference you want. Uh, so anyways, we want to set the colors in here accordingly. So what we do here is copy and paste this infinity upgrade unlocked. You know what, the, this is, I'm, I need to stop doing that, okay? I need to start typing because that's just, I need to explain better that way. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set the color if it's unlocked or not. So let's start with the unlocked, okay? So if in it, so we're going to do infinity upgrade unlocked and we're going to type in the number or the variable i. Okay, so if it's unlocked, then we're going to set the color equal to um, white. All right, otherwise, if it's uh, if it's locked, then we're going to do gray, color.gray. Uh, that's a variable right here, gray. Okay. So now the thing here is that it's either white or gray, but we want to make sure to see if it's a bot as well. So we make a second question mark operator here. If infinity upgrade bot right here and index i. So if it's bot, then we're going to do green. Okay. We're going to set the color equal to green. Otherwise, it's white. And also, just to let you know, we don't need um, parentheses in the middle of here. Okay? Sweet. So now, if the upgrade's bot, we'll set it to green. If it's not, if it's white. However, if it's unlocked, then we're going to set it to either green or white. But if it's locked, then we're going to set it to green or gray. Okay? So we're going to be doing the exact same thing here. Ah, I see. Okay. So we're basically, uh, let's move this out of default. Let's put that under the under the switch statement right here. But one thing, uh, right here, this one right here, okay? So this one's either gray or white, okay? So we're gonna have two if statements here, or we're gonna have an if else statement here. So if i is less than 16, then we can use this right here, okay? Else, we're gonna set the color here and uh, we'll, we could probably transform this into a question mark operator. Else, we don't have this bot right here, okay? So we pretty much just get rid of this, all right? So if it's unlocked, oh wait, unlocked, right? This is different, okay, I see. So this one's pretty much if we can afford it or not, okay? So this one's a little special. So here, we have to make sure all of these are um, our bot. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make, I'm going to make an int right here. Infinity upgrades bot. Instead of making a, um, instead of making something or a method that checks to see if all of them are true, I'd rather just add them up at the end. Okay. So what we do here, we don't have a buy yet, but we will. So basically we're just going to check to see, um, if infinity upgrades bot is equal to 16. Okay, because we're eventually going to buy 16 upgrades, all 16 upgrades. Um, oh, I actually, I have an even better idea. So we don't, we remember how we made this flow chart, right? This is pretty much the last upgrade right here in the bottom right corner. That's this one right here. Okay, so this is upgrade ID 15, which is the 16th upgrade. So we're going to do that instead. So we're going to get rid of all that. And instead, we're going to use this infinity upgrade unlocked. And instead, we're going to check to see if ID 15 is unlocked. Okay. And we also need to check to see if we can afford it. But we don't have a cost for that yet. So let's add that real quick. So let's, we're going to make a brand new big double here called infinity upgrade. Uh, let's see. Multiply infinity points from all sources. We're just going to call this IP gain cost okay and we're just gonna set this uh oh yeah this doesn't have to be in data let's move this above okay oh yeah this is cost here nope it's not okay yeah uh sorry i'm just kind of trying to figure this out here uh all right so here we're gonna make a big double since this this will get big eventually so public big double infinity upgrade IP gain level, okay? And basically we're gonna set this cost equal to, so initially the cost is 10, I believe. I think that's what it was. So the, currently it's 10. We've bought 
four. Yeah, I think the cost is ten. Okay, so we're gonna do ten times big double dot pow. Um, ten to the power of level because we multiply it by ten every time. Okay, and we can also, oops, this is level, not lev. We can also use the same equation for our IP gain boost equation. And we can, let's see. Oh yeah, that's that. And this equation starts at one, so we can get rid of this right here. And basically it's two to the power of the level. Pretty self-explanatory, right? We multiply the sources by two, okay? So basically we're getting two times more XP per level. Or not XP, IP. So now what we have to do is we have to get all of our currently equations, right? So normal dimensions gain a multiplier based on blah, 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 blah. So when I'm going to do this myself, and I will explain each of them when I come back. And the reason why I'm like doing this AFK, because I kind of have to do some digging and finding what these equations are, and maybe try to figure them out myself. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm done. It kind of took a bit of time, but I kind of, I don't think they're correct. They're exactly correct, but you can see that this one right here, 5.82, 5.44. It's obviously not correct, but I did pretty good on this one, though. It was a good guess. I think I'm correct. But I don't want to check. Who knows? They're, they might be using square roots instead, and I'm using log. I, I don't know. I don't really think it matters. Since this is 40 days of playtime, I really don't think that's going to matter all too much. But yeah, I'm just gonna stick to these equations. I these ones are pretty easy to find. Actually, this one was harder. They, this one was also um, a little troubling, but I'm just gonna leave it as this. This one was the easiest. This one took me like <laughs> maybe a second to find. But uh, again, I might it may not be correct, so we'll just leave them as is. Okay. So now we can finally use them in our infinity uh, upgrade boost currently. Okay. So once again, we're going to be using this uh, switch case here. I'm just going to copy and paste this template right here. And also just return zero at the end because I know it's going to give me an error. Okay, so let's just implement these equations. Actually, I'll do that real quick. Well, actually, just before one thing, I forgot. There's a few things that we don't have yet. Seconds and infinities. Okay, so this one right here is actually seconds in current infinity. And this one is seconds total, right? We don't have those yet. So let's go to our data script and add those real quick. And at the bottom right here, actually at the top, this one will be at the top. This one will be called a big double. Uh, this will be total playtime. Okay. And this one right down here will be infinity playtime. Infinity playtime. Okay. And let's get these going real quick because I, I know I'll forget. So in our game controller, let's just add this to our update infinity uh oh yeah this is data right data dot playtime let's do total playtime first. We're gonna add this by a second yeah. Yep, yep I'm doing everything right. Okay. And then we'll also do the same thing. There's no if statements involved in this. Okay. So we're automatically starting our infinity playtime right off the bat. Okay, we just need to reset this playtime on infinity. And I think we still need, to, oh yeah, right here, this big crunch right here. So at the right here, we're just going to set infinity playtime to zero, okay, in infinity manager. All right, so back to our upgrade manager, we need to uh, just transfer these equations, which I'll do, I'll be right back. Oh, one more thing, one more thing, I promise. We need to, uh, we need to add infinities right here. Public big double infinities. Yeah. And I'm going to add these below. Infinities will be equal to zero. Infinity playtime will also be equal to zero on our, in our constructor. And total playtime will be set to zero as well. Okay. Now let me uh, move all these equations over. Okay. So also before I continue, I want to simplify some of this math here. So I'm going to implement the static... Uh, break infinity dot big double namespace. And the reason why I want to do that is because I want to just get rid of all these big double dots just to save me some typing because I know I'm going to be typing this a lot right here. Oh yeah, so I also forgot this one right here. So infinity point generation based on the fastest infinity. Okay. So let's see. The fastest infinity, let's see, our stats, are, my fastest infinity is 16 minutes. This one is 
eight every two hours. So I think that's also, yeah, that's based off of this too. So we get one, we get eight every two hours and 46 minutes. Now, I really don't know how this is calculated. So this one I might actually have to look up. So I will figure that out for you guys. Okay, wow, this is actually really simple. It's basically just your fastest infinity times 10. Okay, so that's pretty easy. And that means we gotta go back to our data and add another <laughs> variable. Uh, another big double variable called infinity fast display time. And we can also just call this fast run, same thing. So basically, um, when we reset the play time here in infinity manager, we're basically, before we actually set that at all, we want to set data dot infinity playtime, man, dot playtime is equal to, um, shoot, the problem with setting this to zero, I think I should just set this to double dot max. I'm just going to set that to double dot max because we, remember, we're re reducing this number, okay? So what, what we're going to do is, ch uh, yeah, in here. We're basically going to check to see if, yeah, we need an if statement here. My apologies. So if the player uh, play time is less than the fastest play time, then we're just going to set that play time equal to the current play time. We're going to replace it. Okay. And we're done with that. Okay. Now let me finish these equations off. All right, so I have all the equations in, and it looks like this. Also, I, I'm this meant to go on six. So if you want to copy all these equations over, and there you go. And if you don't understand what log log ten pow means, uh, here let me pull up the graph. So basically, log uh, has a growth effect where it just eventually just decays over time, right? It is the inverse. I, I mean, I've explained this in the past before, but basically, it's the inverse of the exponential equation of so for example log 25x so basically that's the inverse of 25 to the power of x okay if you don't know what all that means you don't have to right i mean game when if you're a game developer then you really should know what this kind of math means right it's kind of important <laughs> especially if you're making an idle game you're really going to need to know what these are and pow is basically just to the power of right so x to the power of 1.5 and it's just uh it's just a, um, what do you call this? Uh, a parabola, right? X squared, same thing, right? Just, this is just uh, a bit wider because it's uh, it doesn't grow as fast. While if we make this X to the 10, it goes crazy fast, right? 10.5, and yeah, same thing. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions or really just want to know what all this stuff means, Google will be your friend. And also Desmos is a very... Uh, useful way of visually seeing how things work. Anyways, let's actually get boosting. Okay, so we have all of this right here. Um, let's see. Yeah, we also have the infinity fastest play time, right? So we gotta actually start applying some of these boosts now. Again, this is gonna take a really long time. So yeah, this video is isn't gonna be the longest or the shortest. Okay, that's just how it's going to be. All right, so let's start with the first one. So normal dimensions, actually, wait, we gotta actually buy them first, right? Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, my apologies. We actually need to buy these upgrades first. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna create a method call uh, avoid method called buy infinity upgrade. It's gonna have an ID on it. Alrighty. Um, okay, so basically we're just checking to see if, um, if it's unlocked first, okay? So if it's unlocked first of all, and infinity points, uh, let's create uh, another var down here. Var data equals game dot data. So if data dot infinity points, okay, is greater than or equal than the cost. So our cost is right here, and up infinity upgrade costs. Okay, and remember this is a list, so it's at index ID. All right, so before we actually continue, remember this is an infinity upgrade or an infinite upgrade right here. So we're gonna be continuously buying these ones while these ones are all just single buy. So 
This one's a little different, so we're going to have to create something else up here. But we're going to stick with these ones first, the first 16. The 17th upgrade we will do later on, or, short, or shortly after this. So if it is, then we're going to unlock this. So uh, we have our bool list, infinity upgrade bot. We're basically going to set that to true. Yeah, it's a list. So we got to access it, index i. We're going to set it to true. Alrighty, so now we want to subtract our points from the cost. So we just do infinity data dot infinity points minus equals the cost. Pretty easy. Okay, so now we're gonna do this permanent upgrade here, and we don't have a buy max yet, so we'll eventually get all that done yet uh, later on once we unlock this in the first place. Um. Okay, so if oh yeah, so we're gonna return this afterwards. So okay, so if ID is equal to sixteen. Remember, it's zero base. So this is zero, this is one, this is seven, uh, 16, okay? So if ID is equal to 16, okay? And uh, so the cost, what's this cost right here? We have our cost up here, right? So uh, we need to make sure that 15 is unlocked before we can even start buying them. So Okay, so if infinity upgrade 15, that's the very last one right here once again, is unlocked. Okay, and infinity points is greater than or equal than uh, our cost, which is our IP gain cost here. Then we will simply just buy one of these. Okay, so we want to subtract the cost first, because remember our cost it, uh, affects... No, our cost is based off of our level. So before changing the level... We want to subtract the cost because the cost will change if we adjust the, the level first. So then we can finally add to our level right here. Plus equals one. I don't know what's going to happen here in the future, but let's just protect that. And we also want to return because we don't want to access this if statement down here. Okay. And we can also invert this if statement here. So basically I just add an, actually let's just keep it as is. I, I don't want to confuse you guys. All right, so now we have all of our upgrades uh, viable. We can now start applying our boost, okay? So let's start the first one. Normal dimensions gain a multiplier based on time played. Well, that's really easy. So if we go to our dimensions class and go to our dimensions product property here, again, the property is where it has the arrow here, and a variable is where we don't um, uh, set it to something like this, right? So this is a property, uh, this is a field, right? Okay, if we made this into an arrow, this is now a property. Okay, but we don't need to do that. So we need to go to our dimension production right here and simply multiply it by our infinity manager here. However, we don't have access to it yet. So, oops, at the top here, we need to add in our infinity upgrade manager. Okay, and we're just going to call this infinity upgrade manager with a lowercase i. So now we want to multiply this dimension production. Let's go to the very end here. Again, there's a lot of math here. So we actually want to apply it next to this, uh, to the left of this division right here. So yeah, there is a lot going on here. But we simply just want to do infinity upgrade manager and multiply it by our infinity upgrade boost currently. And that is zero. Okay. So if you go here, we can honestly close that. That's this one right here. Okay. All right, so now we can keep going. So now our first upgrade, or uh, ID 1, which is our second upgrade, increase the multiplier for buying 10 dimensions from 2 to 2.2. .2. Okay, this one's pretty easy as well. So let's see. we got to find our... Um, I think this is a power here. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close this and scoot this forward here. Or scoot that to the left. So we have more space here. Um, I think this one is a dimension production thing here. Maybe it's a dimension boost. Yeah, it's a dimension boost right here. Okay, so in our dimension boost property, we want to uh, have a question mark operator here. Okay, now all we do here is also uh, currently our levels are existing in here. Okay, so we just want to do infinity upgrade manager dot uh oops where's our levels where's our levels 
Oh, right, it's bot. <laughs> I forgot. Okay. So, infinity upgrade manager dot infinity upgrade bot at index one. Okay. And if it's bot, then we're going to set this to 2.2 instead of 2. Okay. So, we're basically just switching between 2 and 2.2. .2. Alrighty. Third upgrade. Uh, normal dimensions gain a multiplier based on time spent in current infinity. Okay, this is the exact same thing as the very first upgrade. So we're just going to go to the end again, copy this upgrade here, and replace 0 with 2. This is getting pretty lengthy now. Okay, so a good way to kind of organize this is to uh, simply space things out. Oh yeah, this is a question mark operator. So we can just uh, do this right here. So what I like to do is to press enter at the, the multiplication here. And just kind of clean things up a bit. Okay, so I can clearly see that this is um, if id is equal to 1 and this is if it's not right here. Again, organize it however you like, but this will get pretty lengthy fast. Okay, and eventually I might convert this into a method and just do times equals and six just because it'll look better. Okay, so for now we're just gonna leave it as this. Um, alrighty, you start with the fifth dimension unlocked. Okay, so this one's gonna be a little tricky, and this will this will also kind of save our lives when it comes to this. So, unlocked gets reset at certain places. So we have. Um, oh yeah, we need our infinity manager actually. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we need to, uh, so we our dimensions unlocked gets reset there, and oh, you start with the fifth dimension unlocked. Okay, so this is actually a bit weird, weirder than I thought. Uh, let me try to figure this one out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is just simply set these uh, first ones to unlocked, okay? I think that's just the only easy way around this. So after we reset it, we want to set um, dimension unlocked equal to, okay, so, oh man, this is a little complicated. So if game dot, okay, so let's see, this is the third upgrade. Infinity, oh uh, man. This is in dimensions. Game dot dimensions. Okay, I see what we can do here. So game dot dimensions dot infinity upgrade manager dot. Uh, oh yeah, bot. Okay, so I feel like I've been doing something wrong here. Where is this? Uh, upgrade. No, oh, never mind. We're okay. Uh, sorry. Okay, so if the third upgrade, or the ID3 upgrade, has been bought, then we can start checking for these, okay? And uh, basically we set the first four to true. So we can create a for loop real quick. For var is equal to zero. Um, I is less than four, and we're gonna add increment this by one. Okay, so and for dimensions unlocked at index i, we're just going to set them to true. After we've bought this upgrade, or yeah, after we've bought this upgrade, then we don't need to, then we can just start setting the rest of them to true. Because that's really what happens, is that when you, after you buy this upgrade and you do dimension shift, the first four dimensions are already unlocked for you, or the first five, and six, and seven, and so on. Okay, so now we need to check for each one of these. So... Four, okay, so dimensions unlocked. Yeah, that's the fifth dimension. So we basically check, oh yeah, this one's also true as well. So might as well just set that to five, okay? Because this upgrade's already bought. And also since we're gonna be typing this a lot, let's just add our infinity upgrade manager up top. And we already have the name here, so we can just copy and paste that here. Um, so if in, yeah, infinity manager like that. Alrighty. So now we're going to set our dimensions unlocked at index four, and we're going to set that equal to infinity upgrade manager dot infinity upgrade bot. And that is index 
Uh, no, this is not four. So we have three, seven, 11, 15. So we have three, zero, one, two, three. Yeah, three. And then we have seven here. So this will be seven. Okay. And five, six. Man, what am I trying to do here? Yeah, so the, this is thir first to fifth, six, seven, eight. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. No, that doesn't. Why am I overthinking? I'm overthinking this. Am I? Yeah, so this is the sixth dimension here. Okay, so upgrade 7, 11, and 15. Alrighty, that should be good. And we can get rid of this here too. Alright, so now we also need to grab this right here and copy and paste it into... Where is dimension shift? Where is dimension shift? Right here. Okay. Easy enough. Alrighty, so we have all of these done right here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you start with uh, the eighth dimension unlocked and a galaxy. Oh, so we get an extra perk here. So you start with um, a galaxy on infinity. So you don't gain one from here, but you start with one. Okay, cool. So now we know that if we have this upgrade, we get... Uh, an infinity or a galaxy so basically we're checking for the same thing upgrade 15 if it's unlocked then we get one antimatter galaxies otherwise we get zero alrighty so we have nine more to go we're almost there so the first and eighth dimension okay so first and eighth gain a multiplier based on infinity stat second and seventh third and sixth fourth and fifth this one is annoying <laughs> this is just annoying <laughs> Okay, we can do this. So we basically need to multiply more stuff here. Okay, so this is upgrade. So zero one. Two, yeah, this is four right here. So we're basically going to multiply this by four. Um, only if ID is equal to. Let's see. I think this is. Uh, how do we do this? Oh, this is uh one index. Okay, I see. So if ID is equal to the first dimension, so that's one. Again, I kind of messed up this. And the eighth dimension. Okay. So we got to make sure if it's, oh yeah, either one of these. Right. And we want to do this in a question mark operator. Okay. Otherwise, this is false. Right. I think I need to wrap this around like that. Yeah. Okay, cool. So basically, if it's the first dimension or the eighth dimension, then we're going to get this boost. Okay. And we do the same thing for this one, this one, and this one. These four. So this is second and seventh. This is third and sixth. And we got four or fifth. Four and five. And this boost is... Uh, what ID is this? This is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so this is ID eight, this is ID nine. Alrighty, remember, I'm getting this from this chart here. Four, five, eight, nine. Alrighty. Oh man, we got the bottom three to do and we're done. Okay, so decrease the number of dimensions needed for dimensional boost in galaxies by nine. Okay. So basically, we get the cost for our dimension shift cost right here. So let's see, how do we calculate this? Oh, right here. Uh, right here. Yeah. Okay. So basically, you just subtract this by um, infinity upgrade manager dot uh, bot. Okay. And let's see, this is ID... So we have 0, 4, 8, 12. This is 12 right here. Yeah, is that correct? 0, 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a little brain fart for a second. Okay, so if this 12th upgrade is bought, then we are just going to subtract this by 9. Otherwise, we're going to leave as is. Subtract it by 0. What's wrong here? Oh. <laughs> right. And we will do the same thing for here. And honestly, we can just grab this right here. Uh, Let's see. I kind of like it like this. And we'll just uh, put parentheses around this entire thing and then subtract it by this statement here. Whew, okay. Next, um, galaxy cost. Let's see, where's our galaxy cost? Right here. This one's pretty easy. We just subtract it by the same thing. And except this is level, this is upgrade 13. I think we need parentheses around these. I am not positive. Nope, we don't. Okay. So now, infinity point generation based on the fastest infinity. So, this one's a bit awkward. This one just kind of starts a timer. And just give, keeps giving you them. Okay. So, we're going to do this in infinity manager. And we don't have any update methods in here. So, we're going to create one. Public void update. Okay. And we're going to create a timer. And actually, we might want to save this timer because of offline progress. So public void big double infinity generation timer. Okay, and we're basically just going to set this equal to zero. Uh, I don't know what else to set to that. Yeah, zero is fine. Um, okay, so now in here, we're just going to keep uh, incrementing this. All right, game dot var data equals game dot data. Right. So data dot infinity generation timer plus equals um, time dot delta time. Okay. Now we only want to do this if we've actually bought the upgrade. Okay. So we want to check the usuals. If infinity upgrade manager dot infinity upgrade bot, and this is upgrade 14, then we're going to keep adding this. And honestly, we're going to put brackets here because there's our curly brace here because we got more stuff to do. So now we need to check to see if this time is greater than uh, the boost, okay, which is this time right here. So uh, it's the same infinity upgrade manager dot currently uh, current boost and this is at index 14. So now if we go here, uh, it's this one right here. Perfect. So basically it's going to increment by, so if it's uh, greater than, then we need to reset this timer back to zero. Oops. Uh, reset this timer back to zero. And we also need to give ourselves some infinity points based off of this right here. So we're gonna do um, infinity upgrade manager dot gain boost. Yep, like that. Cool. So now, if, let's see, is this, is this equation correct? Yeah, this boost right here. Two to the power of level. That sounds correct. So now we can also take this right here and find where we um, add our infinity points. Where is that? Right here. We can now replace this one with this infinity upgrade manager dot, uh, IP gain boost. Perfect. I believe we are done. I think we're done. Get out of here. I think, let's see, currently. Oh, right. We don't really display some of this stuff, right? Okay. So we forgot the notation. So we're just going to do dot psi. And this automatically adds the using extendables to the top. If it doesn't, then make sure you add that namespace to your top. And we also need to add an X right here. Because otherwise it's not showing a boost. Um... I don't think there's anything else to do. Yeah, I think we're all set. Um, this video is long already, so I might continue this in a part two. Let's see. Let's let's just test this out first of all. And if it doesn't work, then we're going to continue this on a part two. Because I'm honestly really tired and my head hurts. So I kind of want to take a break. I still got lots of stuff to do tonight. It's 9 o'clock. Anyways, um, yeah, all these upgrades here. All right. 
So one more thing we forgot to do is to automatically attach these um, upgrades. So what we're going to uh, add here is a public game object, not a game controller, <laughs> a game object, <laughs> uh, a game object uh, infinity. I guess this will just be our infinity panel, I guess we can call it. And on start, we are going to uh, create a for each var inf uh, upgrades in infinity panel dot git. Um, I think it's, is it game object dot git components? Yeah, git components. Oh, I think it's git components in children. Yeah. And we're going to set the type to infinity upgrade. So basically it's going to look for all the infinity upgrades that we have. So, and at the end, we need to create a list. Oh, wait, no, that's this right here. Right. Uh, man, I forgot. So you see how we made this in an array? We actually need to make this into a list. Okay, my mistake. It's because we need to add to this list. And I don't want to manually drag those myself. So now we can do infinity upgrade dot add upgrade. Okay, so now we'll search for all of the infinity upgrades that we have in infinity panel and it'll add it to our list. And that is this panel right here that we're referring to. I think we have an error. Nope. Cool. So now let's go to our upgrade manager, drag game infinity panel, which is this right here. We have our upgrades, names. Oh, it doesn't look like it's saved. Why not? Why not? Uh, I think that's fine. Okay. Uh, names, cost, bot. I think that's all good. We also need to drag our upgrade managers to various locations, such as our dimensions. And I think where we need this, oh yeah, we have our infinity canvas. Right, I forgot about that. So here's our infinity canvas right here. We're gonna drag that into the infinity canvas and our upgrades right here. Okay, so we need to finish this navigation. So we're gonna re replace this achievements right here with infinity. And we have an upgrades button right here. So we're gonna assign this uh, upgrades button with infinity navigates and we're going to call this infinity upgrades even though we won't really use it so uh yeah we'll just keep that also i want to add a mask to this panel because i don't want things to overhang so to do that i go to your scroll oh yeah we don't even have a scroll rect yet <laughs> oops so we're gonna add a scroll rect an image and a mask we're going to set this mask uh, this image to um we're going to go to RGB 0.0, 0 to 255. Set this alpha to 1. Okay, so now you can't see anything here. Content is panel, and our viewport is scroll. Okay. And last but not least, we forgot to add a button component. So let's go to our infinity upgrade prefab. So we can actually just click this arrow here and add a button component right here inside the prefab. Okay. Just click this right here and we'll just back out of it. Okay, so now each of them have a button component, even the prefab. And we need to drag this Infinity Upgrade Manager into here uh, and set this to buy Infinity Upgrade. All right, so now we gotta manually uh, replace these. Okay, so remember we start from zero and we go to one, two, and so on. So I'll see you when I'm done. All right, so I set them all. So see, infinite would be infinite would be 16. This will be 15, and so on. All right, what else do we have to do? I think that's it. I think that's worth to test. So I'm going to close infinity and replace it with dimensions. Save it, and hopefully we won't get any errors. Oh, yeah. We have an index out of range. Let's see, where is this being caused? Oh, right here. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Why here, though? Why out of all the places? I think it's because we don't define bot yet. Right here. Okay. So nothing's being saved right now. So I guess we should do this now. So everything here that we have to move to data, we need to do that real quick. Okay. So... Alrighty, now let's go to our data here, and let's create a new section. 
our region right here. I should have been doing that earlier, but I haven't. We're going to call this Infinity Upgrades. Okay, we're going to copy and paste all these here. Hashtag and region. Okay. And we also need to add this under here too, but get rid of all this public stuff. Okay, and we're going to get rid of this new right here because that won't do us any good. And we're going to replace this uh, new bool list right here with a create list bool right here, which we already have here, so I'm just going to copy and paste it. And we already have this method here, okay? Oh, yeah, we have a semicolon there. And we're going to set IP gain level to zero, okay? So now we're going to get a bunch of red lines. Everything's going to go mad because remember how we did Infinity Upgrade Manager? <sighs> I'm sorry, but we gotta replace it with data. <laughs> Which is a good thing because it's shorter. So let me do that real quick. Oh, what's wrong here? Oh, this is game.data, right. That's okay. All right, oh, we got one more red right here. I think this is game.data, yeah. Okay, and now an infinity manager. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Replace everything with data. All right. And same thing in Infinity Upgrade Manager. This is actually uh, game.data as well. Okay. And let's just simply replace all of these. Okay. Cool, so now we need to check to see if this is null or not, okay? So how we do this is by, I think I've done this in the past. I don't remember if it was, if it was in this series or not, but what I like to do in the start, um, I actually need to replace this with start infinity upgrades and I need to move this method into our dimensions, actually our game controller. Let me reopen that. Game controller, okay. And after we load, we, oh, it's achievements. That's where we did it, right? So we're going to do infinity upgrades, upgrade manager, lowercase i. Looks like we don't have it yet. And then start infinity upgrades. Okay, so we need to add this manager into our script here. So public infinity upgrade manager, and we're going to call it uh, the same thing, but lowercase. So let's go to our achievement manager. So... There's our star thing right here. Remember this try catch thing I made here? I basically just uh, made it so that um, we can readjust the size of this list safely, right? So we're going to do the same thing here, but we know we have 16 infinity upgrades. There's no more than that. So we don't need to do any of this uh, unnecessary um, stuff right here. Okay. Unless you're going to add more upgrades and be sure to do the exact same thing here, right here. Okay, so now back to our upgrade man, uh, manager at the very top. We're basically, do we're gonna very basically just set the, the temp, just a random temporary variable, equal to var data equals game dot data. Uh, data dot achievements. Oh no, that's not right. We gotta replace this. So um, it's infinity upgrade bot, and we're gonna set it to the count. So it's a it's a integer variable here. Now we don't do anything with it because we don't need to, okay? Because we can still produce an error by just setting a variable, okay? If we get an error here, we're gonna catch it. We're basically not gonna do anything with the error. We're just gonna ignore it and create a new uh, Boolean list right here, size 16, okay? So now that should solve this issue right here because basically our array was just, our list was just a size zero. We were never initializing it. Oh man. I forgot to drag something here. I think it was in here. Yep, our infinity upgrade manager. Okay. All right, now it should work. Oh man, we're still getting errors. Let me take a look. Okay, so I see where this is coming from. So it's actually trying to access the upgrade costs in the wrong place. So, where is this doing it? Set currently right here. Yeah, so the cost for 16 is actually a bit different because we're not using an infinity uh, upgrade cost here. So what I'm going to do here is 
um, make a question mark operator. So we need to put parentheses around this first. And basically, if i is less than 16, then we can use this cost. Actually, it's id. Otherwise, we need to use a different cost. And that is the IP gain cost right here. All right, so that should fix our final issue. Hopefully, it's our final issue. It's our 15 minutes of recording time. And I've been doing this for like two hours. All righty, big crunch. Oh, we don't have any infinity points. Okay, everything looks great. Looks great so far. But I'm just curious on why we didn't get any infinity points. Uh, let me try that again, actually. Let's go here. Data. 360. Okay, so we have zero infinity points. I feel like that's a lie. <laughs> um, that's a lie. There's no way. I... I think we haven't added our infinity points text yet. Okay, I think that's it. I know we have infinity points. There's no way that would have went wrong. Infinity points right here. So we're just going to copy this text. All right, so we have two texts. We have one in the infinity tab and one at the top right corner. So, infinity manager, we're going to add two TMP texts. Yeah, so we do need this TM Pro at some point. Uh, we're going to call this IP, actually it's going to be an array. We're going to call this infinity points text. <laughs> Excuse me. And it's going to be a new TMP text size 2. Because we only need to access it two times. So, let's see. I'm just going to paste that there for now. So, we're going to set uh, the first text. We don't need to do this in a for loop because it's kind of useless. But we're going to set the first one equal to, or they're going to be actually equal to the same thing. Okay, so we're going to have a dollar sign because we're going to be using string interpolation. Paste this in here and replace this zero with a variable. So curly braces and this is, um, let's actually put this under. So we're going to do data dot uh, infinity points. Okay, dot psi. Again, don't forget to add your using extendables namespace at the top. And we're also going to set the first or the first one as well. So we have the zero and the first, like that. Okay. So let's go back to Unity and drag in these texts. Infinity Manager. Improve, yeah, right there. Okay, improvement points, and I think it's in upgrades. Yep, right here, upgrades. But where is it? Where is our points? It's in Infinity somewhere. Is this it? All oh, right, it is. Okay, so this one's improvement points. Oh. Infinity points, not improvement points, not crypto clickers, you goof. All right, so make sure you drag both of your infinity points text into those um, into those boxes. All right, there we go. We have our infinity points here. Now the thing here is that we want to change the size to zero because we are um, in antimatter dimensions. We only see one decimal. Okay, so that will fix itself afterwards. All right, so let's just start trying to get these upgrades right. So this should multiply itself. Cool. It looks like it's not multiplying itself, though. Maybe you just can't see it. Uh, infinity stat. So we don't have any infinities right now. I really need to add stats page. So yeah, this, sh this seems wrong. Because so we also have achievements right here. So that's not good. All right, let's go take a look. So I see. We actually do this in dimension production. However, I'm still not really sure why it's not working or why we're not even getting any more uh, antimatter because it should be uh, more than what we previously get. And obviously we're getting this boost. We're seeing it right here. So I'm, not, I'm really curious on why. Oh, let's see, what is this ID here? So this is the first dimension. Hmm. I think it's because we have some boost. 
Let me let me investigate more. Right. Okay. Actually, am I am I blind? Oh, I see. I'm blind. It's the zero point one right here. Duh. All right. So. <laughs> Alrighty, that's my mistake. I'm stupid. Okay, so anyways, we're gonna copy and paste these all all these infinity upgrades right here. Because right now it's only applying to this one right here. So if you buy this one, you'll see the effect occur. However, we want it to happen to the first dimension too, because right now it's not. So I'm gonna kind of clean things up again, and I will show you what will look like afterwards. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put parentheses around all of this. Okay, this entire statement here. And I'm going to multiply all of it by all of our upgrades. Obviously, this doesn't look good. So let me fix that. Like that. Okay. And now, if we play our game, it should be good. Cool. It, it looks like it's working now. However, it looks like it's applying the boost regardless if we have it or not. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so one thing here, we need to make sure this is even unlocked first of all. Okay. So at the beginning of this, we're just going to put, uh, infinity upgrade unlocked at index ID or our argument is ID and question mark. If it's unlocked then we will put it there. If not, then we're going to set the boost as one. Okay. And we're going to do that for all of them. Okay. Cause we kind of don't want that to boost for free. We want to upgrade. Uh, we want to buy the upgrade first. Alrighty. And actually, I just realized instead of actually having all these question mark operators, because that's kind of messy, I guess, we can just do if, um, if it's not unlocked yet, then we're just going to return one, right? We only need to do it for once because if you saw, it all have the same ID, right? So that's kind of just pointless. So we can just add it once to the very top. Okay, so we don't need to check for any of these equations or we need to actually apply any of these equations unless it's unlocked. And it, now it should work properly. Okay, so we're getting 3.2 per second. So that is, oh, okay, <laughs> that's not good. So it looks like it's working for that one, but why not this one? So it's still applying a boost. You see 1.5? times so let's see 1. Point times times 2.2 3.3 yeah it looks like it's using this boost which is off which is very weird uh i'm gonna do some more investigating then okay so i see the issue already it's not unlocked right it's actually bought <laughs> i did another oopsie i've done this a few times already today i think so we want to check to see if we've bought the upgrade not unlock it not yeah i get i get, I get those two looped all the time Alrighty. Oh man, what's wrong here now? Index out of range. Right here? Well, you see here. Let's see, what's wrong here? Interesting. Um, okay. I think we have to do ID minus one. That's my guess. Okay, so once again, this is occurring in the 16, right? So we want to make sure this is not 16. Actually, I'm surprised I 16 is calling this. Is that currently? Oh, I see now. Well, description text. Um, okay. Currently is this, but this is different. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is if ID is equal to 16, because right now it's not, it's gonna be one, it's zero, I think, and we're gonna get some other errors too at some point. Uh, so if ID is equal to 16, then we need to return this this boost right here. So we're simply just gonna return this boost, okay? And now we shouldn't have issues here. I promise. Okay. Oh man, it's still not applying the right boost. Okay, I see the issue here. So, also what's kind of cool 
Oh, yeah, this is a bug. But you can look at, see how this kind of like expands itself when I check this. It's kind of cool. But you see when I buy this upgrade, this third one right here, see how it kind of just switches? It's because, well, I'm, I'm, I am I'm made another oopsie. The thing is that it's, if it's, uh, if it's bot, it's going to return one. So we need to do it the other way. If it's not bot, then we will return one. Okay. And this should all fix our issue. And we can live happily ever after. Okay, that looks correct. So now we can do 1.5 times 1.82. And we should get 2.73. Yeah. Sweet. So now, yeah, I can't buy these upgrades, but... Uh, yeah. I think that's what the purple and red is. Purple is we can buy it right as we can. I think. I think that's what they are. But yeah, so now this should be applied. And everything should be beautiful. I think that's okay. So three point three times one point eight five divided by ten. Oh no! Yeah, that's about six per second, right? Yeah, that's right. Alrighty, guys. Um. I would test, so let's actually test, actually. I think that's the smart thing to do. So let's test these first before I, I end the video. So we start with the fifth dimension, right? So we should get the fifth one uh, after we do a shift. So let's, let's get there. So now we start with the fifth, awesome. So we know those work, these will all work. And you start with the galaxy. So that will happen after an infinity. Okay, so let's see. If we keep buying these ones, oh, that's that's not right. It's that one's unlocking this one. Okay, so they're clearly unlocking the wrong ones. An infinity stat. I think that's based on infinities, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, uh, man, it's not doing the right ones. Okay, that's not good. It's this right here. Okay, so it's something related to this, and I don't think it's minus four. So let's see. So eight. So let's say for example, eight, seven, six, five. I don't know why. It's like this one unlocked this one. Zero, one, two, three, four. I don't know. That's really weird. <laughs> okay, so it looks like some of our stuff is incorrect. So you see, this is like flip-flopped this one is two infinity point generation based on the fastest infinity right here these are also flipped and this is why this we're getting like a bunch of infinity right now <laughs> so we got lots of stuff we need to fix um first let's start with this one right here so the fastest play time is clearly a massive number i think that's what that is the fastest number. Okay, that's that's not supposed to be that fast. I don't know why it's set to zero. Uh, okay, so let's just gonna set it to. Uh, that's not correct. Okay. Um, we just need to reformat this. So let's see. This is upgrade fourteen, right? So we need to go to our Infinity Upgrade Manager and fix that. And this one, we really want to set by ourselves. So actually, we're gonna we're gonna move this one under K sixteen, just so we can manage this one ourselves. Alrighty. And instead of this being X and scientific notation, we need to format this as a time. So I'm really lazy to write out days, minutes, all that, all that stuff. So I'm just gonna do time span, not from seconds, instead, and then do what I usually do from seconds. And that is uh, formatted as, uh, here, I'll show you how I formatted it. I'm missing uh, system.timespan, yeah. So make sure you add system.timespan at the very top. And we need to, what's wrong here? Oh yeah. I think we need to convert this to double. Yeah, we need to convert, cast this as a double, okay. And now outside of this, we need to do colon D backslash backslash colon H and then the same thing for M 
and s, double m. Okay, so now this will format our time as this, like that. Okay. Oh yeah, this is supposed to be i as well. Why, come on. Okay. Oh man. I'm gonna do an infinity real quick. Let's see, what's our fastest playtime now? Okay, that looks that looks better. Um so yeah, these, some of these are just flopped. I don't I really don't know what went wrong here. Cause this is let's check this out. Zero. Oh, maybe it's the way I formatted these upgrades, actually. Now that I think about it. Zero. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait, why are some of these flipped? How did that happen? <laughs> How did that even happen? Okay. So I guess it's nothing wrong with our code, first of all. So that's good. I don't have to troubleshoot that. But I guess some of these just got flipped. I don't know how. So this is up, not upgrade 9. So this is like, why did what even happened here? So, yeah, make sure you pay attention to that. Because that stuff could always, like, uh, catch you by surprise. Yeah, I don't know why some of these just got flipped. I don't remember that ever happening. There you go. This should be the correct order. Anyways, I'm going to fix these. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Be, don't forget to fix the IDs, too. These ones right here and the name so you don't get confused. Oh, wait. You don't have to fix the IDs. They were just mispositioned. Okay, that's good. Luckily, I didn't mess every, anything else up. Okay. So, I want to test these upgrades. So, let's go to our... Uh, let's just... Uh, let's just get rid of all these. <laughs> this looks very weird. Okay, so now one, oh yeah, we can start buying away. Cool. Just start buying in a random order. Beautiful, and we can't buy any of these yet, which is nice. Oh, index out of range, that's not good. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh. Okay, what's wrong with this one? Unlocked. Okay, I see. Unlocked. I meant to put bot here. Okay, so again, it's the data uh, infinity upgrade bot at index 15. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so that will fix that issue. Why can Oh, I can buy it now. Sweet. So now we gain more infinity. Okay, but it's still showing up as, gr as white. I don't like that. Let's fix this text here. Mm, currently cost. Oh yeah, the cost isn't in scientific notation, so let's fix that. ETH dot. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. It's game. No, it's just it's just dot psi. I forgot because we have the dot. Ex we have the extendable methods. Yay! Which is this right here? The extendables name class. Our hero. Um. Okay, so why is this white? And because we can't afford it. Oh, I see. It's white. Okay. So we want to make sure we can actually um, show it's gray if we can't afford it, because that's how we do it in antimatter dimensions. And let's see, where is this right here? Yeah. Basically, just copy paste this cost thing right here. So if uh, upgrade fifteen is bought. And we can afford the cost. So if infinity points is greater than IP gain cost, then we're going to set it to white. And also we got some error here when I couldn't afford it, which is looks like it's right here. Line 21, 22. Um, buy infinity upgrade. Oh, I see. I see. It's because we couldn't afford it, so it just skipped right away. Okay, so we want to make sure to separate these two if statements to prevent future errors. Okay, and basically we're just going to wrap this with this if statement. 
Okay, so we're basically just splitting these into different if statements. Okay, so if it's ID 916, and then if we can buy it, we'll just buy it. And then no matter what, eh, no matter what, if it's 16, if we can or can't buy it, then we're just going to return it. Okay, that will prevent our uh, index out of range uh, exception. Anyways, we're finally done with infinity upgrades. Yes, it's a milestone. Um, oh, wait a minute. I think we forgot some things. Antimatter galaxies are twice as effective. Okay, well, I guess we forgot that one. Okay, that's easy. So let's go to our dimensions uh, script right here. And I think we have a, a galaxy boost somewhere. Uh, right here. So I know we have our galaxies here, but let's find where this boost exists. Oh, man. Are these galaxies really not doing anything? Oh, this is a tick speed. Right, I forgot. This is a tick speed boost. How, what does it mean by twice as effective? Is that like actually what it is? I kind of forgot. Tick speed, antimatter galaxies. Okay. So I'm guessing in here, in this equation here, in this tick speed equation, we multiply this by two if we've bought in this upgrade. That's I'm get that's my best guess. How did I miss this upgrade though? Like how did I miss that? Oh, I must have thought Oh, I see what we did here. We accidentally made dimension shifts two times effective. Okay. So let's find that in our dimension boost property. Uh maybe I didn't. I don't know. Where did I did I do something with that? I don't. How did I miss that? There's no way I missed that. I okay. I I guess I did. Um. Anyways, back to our tick speed. We need to do uh multiply uh, multiply this by. Uh yeah, we need to do this in parentheses as well. Data dot infinity upgrades bot. At index, which one is this? We have 8, 12, 13. So this is upgrade 13 right here. And if it's, we've bought it, then we're going to multiply by 2, if not 1. And I, also, another way we can find it is by finding it. Our cost. Subtracted by 9. Oh, so that's probably why I thought. Okay. So this is actually upgrade 12. Okay. So that's my apologies. This is upgrade 12, not and this is 13. Alrighty. I think we're all set now. Anyways, that was a really long, complex episode. I'm Hopefully I didn't tire you guys out completely, and I hope you, that all made sense. If it didn't, let me know in the comments below, your comments, uh, your questions, all that good stuff. Whew. This was quite a lot, and we finally got it done. And I'm very proud of what we've made so far. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, comment, uh, whatever you like for suggestions, questions, all that good stuff, and subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on notifications for future live streams and videos. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you've watched this entire video, you are a hero. You are a hero to Crypto Grounds channel. You're you are here to help this channel grow. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.